Welcome to Baseball News Club. My name is Chris and today we are going to highlight Fernando Tatis Jr. of the San Diego Padres. However, before we start, if you could please subscribe, help us grow the channel, and then also click on the like button and then comment on the video. And then finally, hit the notification bell and then activate it on your cell phone for notifications. Fernando Tatis came up in the major leagues in a big way. He actually skipped AAA to come to the majors and was an impact for the Padres right away. He only played about half a season, 84 games, but the numbers he put up were pretty remarkable. He was solid at home or away. It didn't really matter. He had 323 at home, 312 on the road. He only played four months. However, in the month of June, he had a blistering 383 for the Padres. On his first pitches, he's going to hit 423. Runners in scoring position, he's pretty ridiculous. He hit 355 with runners in scoring position, which is a very much a clutch stat. And then with two outs, he had 344. He has very quick bat speed. Now, this young talent, when it comes to his batted balls, home runs, he's pulled most of them to left. However, he will pop a few out to right center and right field. When it comes to ground balls, he's primarily a pull hitter. However, his fly balls and line drives, he scatters all over the field, so it doesn't really matter. He can go with the pitch, or he can yank it, or just drive it up the gut. Unfortunately for Fernando and the Padres, he was injured on August 13th with a back injury that put him out for the rest of the season. So unfortunately, the Padres weren't able to see him continue to contribute with offensive numbers and defensive. Now defensively, he did have 18 errors, so a little bit of an area to work on at shortstop. But other than that, he's going to be a super exciting player. Thank you very much for watching Baseball News Club. Have a great day.